The six towns of Actraiser have little to differentiate themselves from each other at first glance. Sure, their settings are different, but otherwise, they're all filled with literally faceless people trying to build up from the same style temples and the same style housing. However, each town is actually based on historical settings. Fillmore was inspired by ancient Greece, hence the origin of the temple's architecture and the two bosses, a minotaur and a centaur. Bloodpool, with its medieval castle and its two European-style bosses, second being a wizard who turns into a werewolf, is based on Europe while this episode's area, Cassandora, is based on Egypt. Aitos, the area after Cassandora, is distinctly oriental with its first boss and environment during the action stages, but the second act boss is something straight out of Japanese mythology. Marana, meanwhile, has combined Indian, Cambodian, and Mesoamerican roots, with the boss of the second act being a monstrous version of a Hindu god. The final area of the game, Northwall, is purely Scandinavian, being set in a frigid environment and involving some aspects of North mythology without spoiling too much. There are also several religious overtones in this game, but that is another discussion for another time. Hey there, ladies and gents. Scheme Rhythm here with another Let's Play After Razor. Last time we took care of Bloodpool, at least until they started fighting, then just kind of everything just kind of went to hell from there. God, hopefully they don't kill each other and everything really sucked. We have to rebuild the entire place. Anyway, we're in Cassandora and we're about to start fighting people. Oh god, I have to think of a voice for the angel. Um. Crap. So, Fox, if we destroy all monsters in this land, people will be able to live here again. So, Fox, are you ready? May luck be with you. I like physically held my throat shut, or pinched my throat while making that voice. It's so difficult. Why? Alright. Cassandora, third time in a row we get to hear this music in an action stage. Alright. Cassandora itself, I think the first action stage is a lot harder than the second one, to be honest. Although we haven't gotten to the second one yet, but you'll see what I mean. Now the nice thing about Cassandora is it's almost it's entirely dependent on your score whether or not you um, get the max population because there are no bri bridges to bridges to build in the uh, sim area. So I'm just gonna have to make sure I score well in this area. But eh. oh gosh, freaky. I like how if you jump that perfectly, you land in between them. So this should be a yep health refill. I like the background of this stage, like the nice big open desert. You can you can tell from like the way they did the artwork that it's actually meant to be a big open desert. I mean, it's not so obvious in the sim area where it's like okay, there's some sand and it's covered by surrounded by like not sand. Like, there's a plane that looks like someone dumped some sand over. That's what the same area looks like. Compared to this place where it looks like an actual giant desert. And we're in, like, an outcropping that's, like, standing out um, from, like, a canyon or something. So, that's just what it looks like, I mean, I think. But... Yeah, then we get to this weird, like, wasp nest area. I guess, I don't know what they're supposed to be, like, termite monsters or something. But this is another area with, like, potential... I think there's, like, a one-up thing down here that you can jump to. Um, not here. But I don't think I'm gonna go for it, actually, because I don't really need it. That source of life I got in the last part is, like, a permanent uh, one-up whenever you start an action stage. Plus there's that. Source of magic. That'll come in handy. Although, I don't know. I don't know if I will use it on this boss. I might as well, I guess. I mean, it's not like I'm gonna use it on anything else. Let's see. Spear throwing guys. I like the spear throwing amps. They... I don't know. It's like a... It's like if an orc was cooler or something. I don't know. 
I don't know, it's kind of like a cross between an orc and a dwarf, I guess. But... I, what am I even talking about? Just... I think I'm almost there. Yeah, this is the boss area right here. And... Good lord! I almost did a no-hit on that boss. I don't... There's like one boss, other boss in the game I can think of that I normally do a no-hit on. And then maybe the first boss in the game, it's conceivable that you'll get a no-hit on him. But this one... Oh wow, 11,000? I've been getting like 9,000 for all the other action stages, uh, part ones. But... Huh. Okay, I like, I particularly like the kind of story arc of this place. Because it's a lot less like, oh, it's not like, oh, here's a, there's a kid, let's follow his life. It's not like, hey, there's this guy who has psychic powers, he's gonna sacrifice himself. He's gonna more or less, like, die for the greater good or something like that. No, it's a lot more like, hey, guy got lost in the desert, go find him, and hey, there's a pyramid. It's, it's really simple, and I like that. They've already asked for the rain. I'm way ahead of you. Now, like I said, Cassandora, you don't have to build any bridges in Cassandora, so as long as you get your score high enough in the action stages, you will max out the population. Now, you just have to make sure that you can open up paths with the rain. And I actually did it in, like, a very inefficient way. I'm supposed to, Normally, I would go across straight to the right with, um with, with uh, my building and my rain, but I guess this time I just wanted to be up a little more. Eh, it'll work out, because I can just, I guess I'll just force me to clear more desert with rain, because this is, I'm, I'm excited. Are you guys excited? I'm excited. This is exciting. Woo. Huh. And this is a sign that maybe I should be doing something else, but this is the last video I'm going to be recording today. And I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy that I'm, like, making significant progress in this game. Because, I mean, this game isn't very long, so I suppose any progress is good progress. But I remember the first time I got, when I first got this game, I think I sat down and beat it, like, in one, one go. And that was with a lot of tries, granted, and it was probably several hours of my life that I will never get back. But, uh, I'm okay with that, because it introduced me to an SNES classic with really awesome music that I now have the... MP I have its soundtrack, um, the symphonic version of its soundtrack on MP3, and it's, like, awesome. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Before they start building more, I should probably go ahead and change them over to wheat. It's found a strange bow. Yeah, yeah, angel arrows. I'm gonna use all that. I'm gonna save all that stuff for like the last two areas that we go to, because those are the places that really need it the most, I think. So let's see. There we go. I just now the red devils. I'm not. You, you, I made sure you didn't get to see what they do, but the Red Devils actually will uh, dry up fields. That's what they do. And whenever your fields are dry, you actually cannot um, support more people. You need fields to be able to have people build houses, basically. And without the fields, you, you get screwed. What? Ah, really? When did they do this? I hate these red devils. Come on, just let me kill this guy. I hate him. Alright, that's the guy that got lost in the desert right there. He's dead. Sorry. But, 
it's it leads to a really good moment. This game is good about moments. I'm gonna try to commentate a bit more over this one instead of like what I did last time and um, making a montage out of it. I don't know. I like the montage idea, sort of, but it 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 doesn't have the same feel. Ah, just get rid of these red devils. As soon as I level up again, I get to use Earthquake. I'm gonna use Earthquake here, too. Like, that's my plan. Earthquake, here. Earthquake is... I'll, I'll, I'll get to explaining Earthquake later, I guess, but... Hey, look! I have no idea what this could be. It's some sort of... It's actually more of a... Oh, you mother... I hate... I hate these red devils. I hate them. I hate them. I hate them. Hate them so much. <sighs> oh look, I grew up in level. Good. Good, good, good. Except I need to use rain twice, so I have to wait a while before I can use earthquake. Once there, and once in this middle area. Hate that guy. No, 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 no. No. You are not going to... You're not doing this, no. Bad Red Devil. Alright. Let's... Let's finish... Ah, wrong place! I just realized that if I had built sideways like I normally do, the red devils wouldn't be going up to going to try and destroy that dry that field. That's kind of frustrating. What? Oh, 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 okay. That's what they were saying. So now I'm going to direct them. There. There. That way they find their man, and I get to be like, hey, give me stuff. Not really, but that's more <laughs> thats more or less what happens is, hey, we found him. Sorry, but we're so sad he passed away. Thanks for leading us to him anyway. But then they give you something really awesome later for it, so. It actually starts off a pretty long chain of events. I can't wait to start showing that stuff off, because this game... It's not something you associate with hidden depths, but it has something along those lines. You know what? I think I'm going to change their course. I am going to change their course. Okay. Sir Fox, I know it's unexpected, but our people in Cassandora have something to tell them. It's so unexpected. I know it's unexpected. <laughs> I know it's unexpected. Hey guys, you know what? It's unexpected. Unexpected. That's all it ever is, is... Oh. That was fast. So yeah, they uh, they created music as a response. I'm gonna go ahead and use Earthquake now. It's going to destroy, I think, every house though. Oh my god! <laughs> uh. Oh master, thanks to the earthquake you just caused, everyone died. Oh yeah, and so the pyramid levels, wall spell too. Yeah, and they found an unusual jewel, and so they're giving it to me. In exchange for killing everyone, they're going to give me a jewel. Oh, wow, I have to pick up a lot of things. So, they offer you arrows, they offer you harmonious music, like you physically take the music and move the music itself. 
I don't know how that works exactly, but that's what happens. This music is called Sacrifice, by the way, and if you haven't heard it before, then... I would like it a lot more if it didn't loop constantly. But... Eh. It's a, it's, a, it's a really good piece of music. It's really nice, especially in an orchestrated form. Orchestrated form, it's pretty awesome. There we go. Their civilization level is probably going to increase again soon. So whenever you kill a bunch of people, I guess I didn't really explain this. Their souls actually get separated between the uh, different monster layers, which I find pretty cool. But, eh. And then people that the monsters themselves kill end up getting their souls trapped in the, that same monster's lair. Alright, no more red devils. Which means that I need to go ahead and move to the other... Alternatively, I can use Earthquake again, and then just let them keep building with that one monster left, and then build until they stop building anymore, and then get the monster to go away. Let's see. Alright, so I'll see you guys in a bit. I'm level 9 now. <laughs> okay, so admittedly it's gotten to the point where I'm just tired of this guy. And I just realized that even if I don't... Even if I seal it now and activate the pyramid thing, I don't think it'll stop growth of the town. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and then I'm going to have to go ahead and finish getting rid of this desert. What do they have to tell me? Okay then. Suddenly a bunch of people are unhappy. Well yeah, your music is like in more you have like a morning song on. Of course you're gonna be unhappy. I mean, I like the music too, but that doesn't mean you have to play it all the time. I'm not, I'm not picturing them with a ritual, like, whoever does, like, you have to keep the music going, and if you don't let it stop, if you just, like, stop playing the music, then you get, like, buried alive or something like that. Kind of like the Romans did to the, uh, Serbine Virgins, or, not the, wow, I just completely mixed up my stories there the Vestal Virgins, if they turned out to not be virgins anymore. No, no, no. I was thinking the Sabine women. The rape of the Sabine women. Kind of kind of a big difference there. 
slight difference. Why am I thinking of Rome? I guess because this is supposed to be like an, an analogy of Egypt and Rome was like basically in charge of Egypt because Cleopatra and uh, and I guess yeah yeah I guess that's what I'm thinking maybe or maybe I'm just making a tenuous con connection at best either way it doesn't really matter I suppose I should give the new building directions shouldn't I there we go. Just opening up the road some. And I can continue with this. I'll see you guys in a moment whenever I'm done building. Ha ha! Level 10! Okay, it looks like the action has come to a stop, and this is actually nearly the maximum population of Cassandora anyway. So, let's see. Stop. Slow. So, I will take the offering that they have for me, which is a bomb, and then I'm going to go ahead and start the action stage. So, let's return to the Sky Palace. And we still have the same magic, yes? Yep. Magical Stardust. Alright, let's get this started. Sir Fox, if we destroy the monsters in this area, people will no longer be scared of evil. Sir Fox, are you ready? May luck be with you. I really need to never do that voice again. That hurts, but I'm gonna have to do it again. Not yet, but, it, but eventually. SPOILERS! Okay. So now we're in the, uh, pyramid, which has this nice little Middle Eastern ring to it, actually, that I like. And there are also mummies, but they don't have- but they're really weak, and not at all like the ones in Zombies Ate My Neighbors. So, yeah, that's, that's pretty handy. Of course, when you're a god statue, I guess it kind of helps. And these guys, I don't even bother with strategy. I just wail on them. Take one hit for sure, but... I mean, it's worth it, I think. And I'm just grinding for... For my score, I guess, right now. Um, some of these spikes are insta-kill, some of them aren't. I wouldn't trust them either way. Let's get a move on. Up the elevator. Since when do, uh... Since when do pyramids have elevators and, like, floating platforms and stuff? Ah, oh, what was that? What was that? I missed something. Damn it. I bet it was a 1,000 thing. You know what? I'm gonna find out. Alright, let's see what this is. <laughs> I collected it too soon. I don't know what it is. That's funny. So, let me see. I believe there are three... Okay, that was worth it. That was definitely worth it. Oh, look at that, how convenient. These elevators that totally are fitting for an Egyptian setting are in the perfect placement. Oh, no you don't. Fuck you. And I like to just, if you just jump through that like that, you should be fine. Oh lord. If, the, if you hit these things arrows with your sword, you can destroy the sword like many other projectiles in the game. I just, I'm just really bad at that timing. There's some snakes here. I guess the idea is you're supposed to be able to... You can platform to get away with them, from them, but I like to just kill them, because fuck snakes. I'm part mongoose, I guess. Alright, and then from here, this is a, this is a pretty simple trick. Whenever you crouch down, your sword has better reach. 
So what you can do is you can wait. I'm standing on top of spikes. What? <laughs> uh, I love this game. It's so goofy, but so awesome. Come on. Come on. Whew! Those are insta-death spikes, so if you jump too soon, you get impaled on them. And I completely forgot about them being insta-death. Oh. Oh god, this guy. It's a good thing this boss is so easy, because this mini-boss isn't. Ugh. Alright, this should be the boss. Yep, here he is. So, this is one of the very few bosses I can say that I can actually, potentially, uh, um, take no damage while beating. Not today, though. It's not in the car today. That's what I do, is I just follow the things he shoots out whenever he goes down, and I shoot the arrows. Of course, sometimes it doesn't work out. So, I'm gonna just say, screw it, and... Come on. Really? Okay. I, I, when I'm feeling lazy, I just use the uh, Stardust on him. You can Stardust most of the bosses in this game death, but it becomes a problem whenever you get to the end of the game and you have to conserve your magic, and you can end up using it fast. And if you use magic and then die, that magic stays used up. Which I think is pretty stupid, but it does force you to conserve it better. It's unexpected. It's unexpected. So expected. I mean, unexpected. So unexpected. Alright. So, now here's the fun part. Oh, that's not it. Strange scroll from the mountains. That's why I had them build down here. Oh my god, three unexpected things? Up oh, here it is. They're dying of the plague. Out of nowhere. Hey! By the way, we have the plague. Help us. Wh where did you get the plague from? You live you live in a former desert. There there are no rats to carry the fleas that carry the plague. Ah. Uh, whatever. They're dying of the plague. And there's our an herb that heals it. Ah. Uh. Alright, before we go, I'm going to take this music, harmonious music, harmony, as in peace, haha, ha, get it, and use that to quell the fighting over here. But first I'm going to use Earthquake. Because I do not approve of your inferior housing. And then I'm going to use the harmonious music. There it is. Can you tell what the man was feeling when he wrote this music? Sir Fox, this music will calm people's hearts and help eliminate quarrels. Sir Fox, I know it's unexpected, but our people in Blood Bowl have something to tell you. It's unexpected. It's unexpected. It's unexpected. And now they have a compass. And so now they're offering you a compass for sa for saving their butts. So I'm going to take that compass. And not the wheat, the compass. Although I might need the wheat in like one more area. I don't know. Alright. And so with that, I'm going to now go to the last stop in this video, Fillmore. Alright. In Fillmore, you give them the compass, and they will give you something in return. Oh jeez, my inventory is getting full, I'm gonna have to use something. Alright. We use the compass here. It starts a little thing here, and uh... Yeah, so give it a moment. Any moment now. Any moment.
Anytime now. Anytime. Anytime. Haha! Sir Fox, I know it's unexpected, but our people in Fillmore have something to tell you. Alright, Strange Jewel. Yay. So, we went through all that. From casting the door, getting the harmonious music from finding the dead man, to stopping the fighting in Bloodpool, to get the compass, to bring the stuff he to bring the compass here, to get them to go out diving, and all that to get an extra life. A source of life that I don't usually get, actually, now that I think about it. Alright, people. Between videos, I will let the population max out in Bloodpool, and then we will be heading off to the next area, which is... Aitos. Sweet, I like Aitos. I mean, I hate Aitos. Meh. I'll see you then.